What's up gamers, RC Styles here. Today on Games Purgatory, we're going to be going over week number two of Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2. Now, I think this is just going to be um, partial of week two. Um, it seems to be centered around like Brutus briefing area. Uh, before we go into that, I want to talk about a few things real quick. First off, right now, if you go over to the item shop, you won't see it on mine because I've already gotten it. But you can unlock for about four ninety nine US Ameri uh, US dollars. <clears throat> you can unlock finder Iris. With Iris, you get five hundred V bucks and an additional one hundred bonus V bucks. Iris comes with an additional style, which is this right here. She also comes with her own back bling. And I'll show you that real quick here. After I reset my character back to where he's supposed to be. So yeah. Uh, this comes with her own back bling. And that is the roundabout. She also has her own harvesting tool as well, and that is the pop axe. Again, she's available in the store for about $4.99. You get all these items, 500 V-Bucks and an additional 100 V-Bucks for a total of 600 V-Bucks. Not a bad little deal, especially if you collect skins like your baseball cards. Okay, so getting into the week two challenges overview. First, go over here, because I haven't seen this on the uh, challenges map itself, but you can see here where it says you want to find shadow safe houses. It looks like you need to find about five of them. And I would imagine that you need to do that in solos, duos, or squads. Considering that only in solos, duos, and squads can you get the activations for like the henchmen and stuff like that. In Team Rumble, they're not available. So let's go down what I uh, the challenge table here. I'm just going to go to all of them. And I'm going to read them off of my list here. It may differ in the order that is right here um, in front of us on the screen. But first off, you want to hide in secret passages in different matches. You want to do that about th at three different matches. Uh, I'm not sure as of yet if you can do this in Team Rumble or if it has to be done in solos, duos, or squads. I'll cover that in an update video because I'm sure there's other stuff that's going to be released as well. Uh, next up is going to be eliminate players with a shotgun. Do this in any mode, include Team Rumble, you would want to get at least three shotgun eliminations for this. Next, you want to be able to carry a knocked opponent at 50 meters. You're going to want to do this in solos, duos, or squads, because in Team Rumble, they don't fall to where you can pick them up and carry them. Next, you want to deal damage to players from below. And you want to deal about 25 points, I'm sorry, 25, 250 points of damage, if I'm reading that off the screen correctly. I imagine this means like somebody flying in or maybe you're underneath those grates in like the grotto or something like that. Again, I can give you a more um, clear <clears throat> description of what that is at a later time. Right now, I'm just going over the challenges the best of my knowledge. <clears throat> next up you want to open chests locked by ID scanners again this is something you want to do in solos duos and squads I don't know if there is like actual objectives like you have to do like I know in those areas that you have to like defeat the bosses and such like that and shake down the henchmen I don't know if you have to do all of that in order to use the ID scanners or if you simply have to be using one of your agent characters for this season for me right now that's agent Peely and Brutus those are the two that I have unlocked again I can do more 
elaborations on the update videos as I'm sure there's more stuff for week two yet to be released and I'll show you why I say that here momentarily. Next you want to deal damage with shotguns to players while in the air. I'm looking at about 250 to or 500. Uh, again, my screen's kind of screwy, and I can't really see small print too well. So it's either 250 or 500 worth of damage to people while either they're in the air or maybe you're in the air. Again, I'll have a more elaboration on this in an updated video. Next, you want to harvest 500 wood, 400 stone, and 300 metal. Pretty straightforward, easy peasy. You can do that in just about any match. Uh, as I said before, you want to do um, find the shadow safe houses. There should be about like five of those. Of course, if you're trying to level up your characters and get through the <clears throat> battle pass trip here, best ways to do that is by completing these challenges also make sure that you do your daily challenges for me my daily challenges are to search chests or ammo boxes at salty springs and need me to find at least seven of those the good thing about that is it doesn't have to be in one match i hate the ones where you have to search chests and ammo boxes and have them all in one match it can be pretty tedious unless like you already have a planned route out uh, this one you can do over multiple matches. I also have to consume forge items. I need to consume 10 of those. Again, that's going to be done over multiple matches, and I can also do that in Team Rumble. And finally, they want me to be able to eliminate opponents. I only have to eliminate five opponents. It's Fortnite. That's the name of the game. That's easy peasy. Comment below if you're having any problems with a particular challenge that I've gone over so far and I'll try to do that particular challenge in its own video and maybe help you all out. Um, you know, I do what I can to help everybody, especially my subs. Uh, a couple of things that led me to believe that there's going to be more things released for week two. Uh, we all know that at this point that Deadpool is the secret character. You can go over here to access Deadpool's lair. Which is pretty much going to be like in a janitorial closet or bathroom. Take your pick. Mostly it looks like a bathroom, but then you got the laundry and all that shit out right there. In week one, we were supposed to find the letter to Epic, which is right here. And then we were also supposed to not thank the bus driver when we jump out. Me personally, I don't know how you would go about thanking the bus driver. Um, I'm sure there's some sort of way on PlayStation 4, and I'm sure I'm just dumb and not noticing. I uh, go over here to computer, and as you can see, I got week one challenges and everything already completed, like I said. Um, week two, I can see it, but there's no challenges or anything coming up. I go to close the window, nothing, bring the window back up, still no challenges. So it leaves me to believe in the next few days that they're going to add more stuff into that. So again, stick around and that's when I'll do my updated video explaining further about the other challenges. And uh, up from here, I believe it's time for me to get on with the grind. And I'm going to take a few minutes of break to get that ready. Um, and check back with me. We'll be doing some of the grinding on these missions here momentarily. Son of a bitch! So I tells the swamp donkey to put a trunk in me tradesman's entrance and have him lift me up! What? 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 What?